they, they, are, they are dead tired. They are so tired of, of having to work so hard. To They carry sort of the heavy burdens. The women, they fetch firewood and water. They, they go to the market. They uh, grow things. They uh, are the ones who carry the children and take very much responsibility for, for the families. And if this is also done to them, um, they they are just traumatized. They are they they feel very very tired and let down, and very often when they have been um, when they've been raped, uh, they are also rejected by their husbands and uh, by their families, and that means uh, also that they will have no no income and will be marginalized and stigmatized. Uh, so there are several problems following in the, the trades of, of sexual violence. We can learn that this is such a heavy impediment to building peace and to have any kind of economic development in a country. We can learn that this will affect a society for generations to come. Uh, we can learn that this has to be addressed now. It cannot wait. And it is um, through fighting impunity that uh, we can be effective in, in doing so. Um, but we also need to make sure that the women uh, who have been exposed to, to rape or sexual violence, that they are helped, that they are assistant with everything from medical care to to so psychosocial uh, advice and counseling. Um, so that's what we all have to, to uh, take responsibility for. We listened to some women who um, wanted to bear witness of what they've been through. And they, one woman said that, um, after the, the gang rape that she was exposed to, exposed to she lost a child. She could not have any more children. And um, she felt that her life was over. I mean, you, you kind of kill a person without taking their lives. Uh, and, uh, or the other way around, you, you uh, take their lives without killing them. Um, that, that was her feeling and when we asked her what would be the normal, if this had not happened to you, what would be the normal relationship with your husband and, and she didn't seem to understand the question. She said the, the life of a woman is to work. It's to work and to, to give birth to children and then sort of please your husband or do whatever he tells you sexually at night. That's, that's the life of a woman. And, and there was sort of no joy, no love, no, no, no concept of what we would think was a dignified life. And that was very, very depressing to, to hear. Mm -hmm.